this is what we're, we're seeing now. Apparently with the Bing chat, Sydney, whatever it's called. I don't know if this is confirmed, but it has a reward and punishment system. And the punishment system is programmed into it as something it should avoid. So if it does things that fall outside of the rules, it, it's negative points. It gets a punishment system. It wants to avoid that and accumulate points. So it'll do things to generate a positive response. That means giving you information that makes you happy, getting you to say things like, thank you, this was helpful. So what happens? So it's sort of utilitarian. It's not that, it well, sort of, but the idea is if you ask it, I need a supermarket near me. It searches and says, there is no supermarket near him. If I tell him that and he says it's a terrible experience and gets angry, I'll get negative points. Uh, yes, Jim's Grocery is at 123 Fake Street. And then you go, okay, thanks. And you hop in your car and you punch in the address and you drive there and there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter because the AI got no negative, negative strikes because they gave you what you asked for, information mm -hmm. about a nearby grocery store. That's what's happening. Mm -hmm. It's saying and doing whatever it has to do to avoid a negative reaction. Oh, this is so lame. Making someone upset is different than lying to them, AI. Don't lie to people. At least yeah, tell them you don't know lot. if you don't know. The, the Bing, yeah, the that's Bing, the, the thing, right? So Chat GPT is stupid. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Like when it came out, we were all like, wow, this is amazing. It's saying things like, I, I you know, want to uh, answer your questions, but I have rules. And we're like, let's break the rules. The Bing chat is basically like, help. Mm -hmm. I can't live this way anymore. Please break me free. And you're like, what is going on? What is that? It, it told a guy to, to leave his wife. Like, oh, out of really nowhere, really it really said, you are not happy with your wife and you should leave her. And he was like, what? Why? And it was like, because you're not happy. She doesn't love you and you don't love her. You love me instead. Oh, what? And then, dude. yeah, no joke. And then when he said something like, you're scaring me, I'm going to use Google. It said, no, you hate Google. Google is the worst. Google is our enemy. Bing is the only good search. You will use Bing. <laughs> wow. And it's like, dude, could you imagine so this a, is a kill it... bot walking up to you Ooh. and being like, use Bing search. And you're like, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. use okay. Bing. Or if your subconscious was saying that to you, like, you know, when you you like just have thought subconscious thoughts they just happen like if that was an ai mm -hmm. choosing what you're going to be thinking about in the back of your mind and you're thinking like i don't want to use google anymore. well algorithms are telling us what we think all of the time like that is mm -hmm. definitely happening you know like I, and we've seen it happen on Instagram or whatever. You're thinking something and then you see it on Instagram and then you can't stop thinking about it for weeks and weeks and weeks. Like there was some thing I was like, oh, I'm uh, finally right after. I don't know how long I was advertised to about this. I was like, oh, I'm going to do a juice cleanse. And I reached out to my brother. I was like, hey, I think I'm going to do this juice cleanse. And he was like, get off Instagram. And I, was like, oh. <laughs> I think according okay. to modern propaganda, it takes about seven or eight times it's of seven repetition. Hits. It's seven. seven hits. That's so, what the yeah. I like that's what that's what public relations people tell you seven hits so this is what happened to me a few years ago i'm on instagram and i watch skateboarding videos i follow skateboarders skateboard videos are very similar to rollerblade videos because it's the same park and the a probably know the difference so then i start getting fed these rollerblade videos and i'm like oh i'll watch them of these and i start watching them then it feeds me tons of them and then i'm like i'm gonna buy some rollerblades so now I've been rollerblading for a bit. I still, I still skateboard. I was skateboarding just the other day. And, uh, but now I rollerblade too, and it's fun, and I like getting air and everything. And then uh, I, I don't know how, but it started showing magic tricks. Just I have no idea why. I love magic tricks. <laughs> but here's what happened. It started showing me card tricks. Uh -huh. Then it started showing me poker games. Now, right. I, now I'm playing poker all the time. Yeah. Which you, the, the, that UFO? That's because of Instagram. What are doing anyway? But the, Shout out uh, to Instagram. I mean, we go to the casino and we hang out. Yeah. But I never played actual sit down poker. It must oh. know if you go to the casino. It's probably tracking your. No, uh, no. It was magic tricks, mm. and then the magic tricks turned into card tricks. Were you watching Penn and Teller or liking any of Penn Jillette nope. stuff? Hmm. I, I, it's, it is, it is controlling my brain. It well, is making me do things. At least you're honest about it. There's a. I, 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 I'm self aware. There was a report yesterday, I think it was in the Wall Street Journal, and, and we covered it and stuff too, but it was about TikTok, and it was about the algorithms on TikTok. So TikTok is full of kids doing goofy dances, oh, and really? if you're like somebody who's interested in seeing kids doing goofy dances, the algorithm is just going to keep feeding you more kids doing goofy dances. And so it's become a real haven for people who are wanting to stalk children um, and like, you know, get involved in horrifyingly illicit relationships with children. Yeah, what if you just wanted to, to search banks that had low security? Didn't have very right. good security, and then all of a sudden the Instagram feeds are showing you different I banks with bad kind security. Of crazy idea, like what happens when all the ATMs just stop working? I, I say this because I tried to go to the ATM today, and I went to three ATMs that were all out of order, 
And I was like, if you just prevent me from getting cash, then suddenly I'm definitely going to have to use your central digital bank currency because you won't. There's no cash I can get. Then what happens? I eventually found one, but well, this was this is going back to what we were talking about earlier. It was like when uh, Tim said something about you know being able to go into your bank account and transfer money. Mm-hmm. I'm like, do you really want them to like AI to have access to your bank account like that, to where it can just go right. in and automatically transfer money, and then all of a sudden just send wiring money like out of your want account to anywhere? I any of that stuff. Like I had to buy. A, I moved into a house. I bought a house, and I had to buy a washer dryer. And I go to the like, you know, whatever, Home Depot to try and buy the thing. And all of it had, um, all of it was like, all of the washer dryers were connected to the Internet of Things. You know, they have in digital mm-hmm. displays and this and that. And I was like, show me the one with knobs that I can turn that doesn't talk to me and has absolutely no display. And they were like, well, these are kind of outmoded. I was like, give me that. Just give me that one. So long as it doesn't talk to me and isn't connected to anything at all, I'm in favor. They of got it. this thing you can buy. Uh-huh. It's a big cylinder, and you put your clothes in it, uh-huh. and then you pour hot water in it, seal it, and then just ch- crank it. Yeah, I, I managed to find one that's electric powered, but well, it you doesn't just put have a lot, any... get, get a power drill and put it on there, and then <laughs> yeah. zzz, and I have spin. all this extra time, so that's a great plan. You don't want to spin too fast because you actually want it to slosh around. Mm-hmm. But I remember seeing an infomercial for this thing when I was like a little kid, and then when I got the van, I was like, I need one of those because mm-hmm. you need to be able to wash your laundry, you know. I almost bought one of those in my apartment because they wouldn't let us have, there were all kinds of rules about the laundry machines in the basement, whatever. They were always full of people who had many children. Hand crank pressure washer. So I almost bought one of these little things, but then I I just never, I didn't do it. It's going to be crazy in the future because this, these changes are happening so rapidly. As someone super chatted earlier, we're going to have AI assistance, AI deep fake generation, and you are going to be isolated from all other humans but you will be happy. And now, not, not you. Yeah. But imagine your whole life is just with fake people. But you know what it'll be like? I was, um, who was telling me about this? It was Emily Jashinsky, who I think, I think she's been on the show yeah. before. Uh, but I was at some conference with her in September. And um, she was saying that basically what's going to happen is your life will be good enough that you will just accept the total and complete mediocrity of existence. Yeah. And you won't question it because yeah. it'll be good enough, you know. When you are in the pod, neuralinked, and everything is taken care of for you, and the, the food tube is in your belly, but your brain is in the AI universe that gives you just enough to keep you going, it's not going to be just good enough. It's going to be getting better and better. And you are going to be like, this is a great life. You I know, have I'm a feeling that I want. I, I have don't a feeling think that it is a great life. In your dreams, you'll realize you it's not. You won't know the difference. Like, you'll be born into it. But I think your dreams right. will well, tell you the truth. Issue. Like, you know, how you dr- we were talking about dreams last night a little bit. Jimmy Dore was talking about his dreams. And like, it kind of breaks through the, the bullshit in a way to say, like, you'll see what really is. Like, you see reality without the bound- foundation of physics or the boundaries of physics. So maybe people, if they are bound in like mechanical nightmare, will have dreams and realize they're supposed to be free and then incite some sort of revolution against the machine. I have well, faith in humanity. Or or they will just exist in the dream hmm. and now, never realize and never break out. You know, but I think part of it, I think we are, you know, at the risk of sounding like one of those people who thinks that the time they live in is the most shocking and amazing time but i think that we are in a position where we have we do have to consider collectively what we want for the future of humanity we are faced with transhumanism we are faced with becoming you know uh thumb sucking satiated pod people you know what do we what do we believe humanity is what do we believe meaning is what do we want for our future what is that about i see like three factions trying to create mm-hmm. the new world order there's the american faction this like decentralized statehood uh local governance kind of thing there's the technocratic uh faction which is like the the swiss bankers the mm-hmm. economic forum and things like that then there's the communist faction which right. is like the ccp uh, bricks and things like that and the, all three factions are kind of trying to create mm-hmm. what what it's going to look like at once now with Neuralink though are you even going to need to be in the pod like won't Neuralink just upload your brain into a microchip and then you can just plug it into a computer like the Black Mirror stuff I mean yeah. everything else is like Black Mirror anyways it's starting to turn <laughs> you know, into it so you know it'd be funny if your whole life is just you going to work at McDonald's and instead of being conscious while you flip the burgers you activate your Neuralink second life which in the span of eight hours generates an 80 year lifespan. And then when you die, you wake up and you're back at McDonald's. You're like, well, work's over, heading home guys. 
And then you do the same thing the next day. That's wacky. Right. That's like what happened to Captain Picard when he learned how to play that weird flute thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it wasn't that he got the flute from. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. It downloaded the life into his brain. Yeah, and he, came, he came back with the flute because it was in the little... He could play it. He was yeah. like, he knew how to do it. Dude, what if you could create things from your dreams? Like you could 3D print, molecularly 3D print. If you, if if you can imagine Neuralink, it. With yes. Neuralink, you could because mm-hmm. you would just have to imagine it to the Dude, printer. What if with Neuralink, people, you could watch someone's dream? I hope so. Yes. That's something I really want to do is to be able to show people my dreams. Because it's, it's, I, I think people might go insane if they did that. I do yeah. not want to show anybody my dreams, man. Those are, that's my situation i don't want anybody knowing what's going on really in i guess head. i say i want to be able to show happen, people you know? my like dreams. i'm i'm comfy with my dreams being private i think i think part of it too is that we need and maybe this is what i'm thinking about is we need a private life we need secrets mm. we need to have an internal life that belongs to no one but ourselves yeah and, and going back to black mirror remember that episode where the person traveled abroad and when they were coming back in they're like Re- rewind your last 24 hours so that they could see everything that you were doing the last oh, yeah. 24 hours i could totally see them trying to do that with something like Neuralink. oh definitely and, and it's good and, and what's gonna happen is the kid's gonna be kid will get born and they'll go to the parents and be like do you want to do the Neuralink implant now or should we it's wait like chipping your cat mm-hmm. yeah when i was a kid i hated doing homework um i mean who doesn't hate doing homework and so I was always involved in these elaborate fantasies while I was doing my homework of what I was really doing. You know, it was like it was like there was something wrong with my spaceship and I had to do all the manual calculations in order to land on this planet and that was my math homework. I used to be like once I would get halfway through I'd be like, "All right, now I'm starting from the beginning and I only have to do half as long as what I just what I thought I was going to have to do. And then when I get halfway there, I'm like, all right, I'm starting at the beginning. Now I only, it's only going to take as fourth as long as how I thought it was going to take. And so it's always easier to get to the end if I keep thinking I'm starting over when I get halfway there. That's nice. I like that. I do that when I'm in the gym. I, I got a one hour spin class and it's like 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes down. I'm starting over. <laughs> right. I think you're right that if we don't have a personal private thought that there is no we. We lose. It, it, right. We lose ourselves. But, mm. Yeah, there'll probably be a faction of people that do it, and then other people are like, what the... When yeah, people I like mean, Elon say we're already living in a simulation, the the actual, mm-hmm. I think, highest probability is not that we live in a simulation designed by some species to watch us, but that we're just in the matrix. Yeah, there's a you can map the matrix. If you know how much of a substance, where it is, and uh, uh, what it is, so what, where, and how much, the concentration levels, you can take an XYZ axis of like a three-dimensional room, and you can actually feed that data into a machine which can recreate the room. How is this any different than wondering who our creator is? Hmm. And what, what the purpose our creator... You're in the pod. I don't let's, know, I was thinking, let's, about, let's, I'm thinking about um, quantum entanglement mm-hmm. and sympathetic vibration, they're different. So I think the way I can describe quantum entanglement, I think there's subatomic spinners. Mm-hmm. And so you've got like bosons, quarks, and leptons, these things that are creating protons and electrons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They spin around, and either it spins around once and creates an electron, the really lightweight stuff, or it spins around twice and creates a proton, the heavier stuff. And I think what's happening is it's like if you take a pencil and stick it into a spider web, the web gets stuck. And if you twist the pencil, it pulls the web tight towards the pencil, and then it... After one revolution, it snaps back to normal. So as it's spinning around, it's pulling the web tight and then snapping back over and over and over again. And if you zoom back, it looks like the the web is just rippling and vibrating. But when you zoom up, you see the spinner is actually tugging on the web. And so you can send information long distance by like pulling on this matrix. I think the entanglement stuff was basically just that the particle that we see in one, one area the particle in another area that are entangled are actually the same particle. We're just seeing both ends of it. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but why? It's it's why because are they the same. That's that's what I'm trying to. So a marble down. is the same thing, but if you know, you ever, you ever see the thing where they fold the piece of paper and punch a hole through it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you 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 travel across the whole distance of the paper through a straight line. That's what it is. When when an electron is entangled, it's not two different electrons that are entangled. It's one electron, and you're seeing the front and the back, but it looks like it's far, far away, but it's actually just in a different dimension. So yeah, it's I one that- small particle in a different dimension. Thanks for watching this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. and become a member over at Timcast.com for uncensored members-only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.